Come here, baby. Hey guys, this is Barbie coming to you live from Dallas, Texas. Sorry, I'm spinning. I'm about to stop spinning. Um, hold on. Come here, come here, come here, come here. We just put a little collar on Corey and I think he's going nuts. Hold on. Let me make sure that it's not like choking him. Okay, he's all right. So you guys, today, let me close the door. Hold on. This is what happens when you have a new little puppy. He's the cutest. And we just put a little collar on him and he's not used to it. So I want to make sure that um, he's not choking or anything. All right, guys. So today I wanted to talk to you about belief. And there's so many ways. Hold on a second. There's so many ways that we can go with this topic. Um, that's a band-aid, by the way. But anyway, there's so many ways that we... Hey, Tracy, there's so many ways that we can go with this topic. So what I did yesterday, or did I do it this morning? Give me one second just to remind... Hey, Erin, remind myself of what I did. Here we go. If you scroll down, you are going to see my earnings as a coach. And you can't scroll down right now, but you're just going to have to take my word for it. Okay. So what is actually possible with this business? I told you yesterday that when I signed up to be a coach, I had absolutely zero intention of making this a business. And in fact, I told my sponsor, Kevin, I have hair, a doggy hair on my lip. Um, I told my sponsor, Kevin, don't ever talk to me about the business and about being a coach because I'm not interested, you know, like I just want to be a coach and I just want to help people, but I don't actually want to work the business. Right. And I just really, Hey Stacy, I really had my heart on just empowering other people. I didn't care if they were men or women. And I had been dieting since I was literally, I was 14 years old. I woke up one day and I said, I'm fat. And, you know, I dieted until I was 33. So finally with Beachbody, I found something that worked and that didn't make me feel crazy, didn't make me feel like I was starving. And I could finally, after how many years was that? 15, 16, 17, 18, like 19 years, 18, 19 years, could finally put a stop to this like wondering and guessing of what do I need to do with my body in terms of workouts in order to get results, right? Because I would go to the gym for hours, I would take classes and not see results. And so finally I found something that worked and I just wanted to tell the freaking world about it. And being a coach seemed like the way, you know, hey Gemma. And so people would ask me like, oh my God, how are you doing? And I just like, I loved connecting on the message boards because we didn't have Facebook back then. And so I decided to become a coach. And at the time I had just been like newly divorced. And I was like, well, I'm not ready to like date and like go on match and stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and pay the fee. Hey, Faith, I'm going to pay the fee to become a coach. It was $34 at the time. We didn't have Shakeology um, and I didn't want to sign up with, they had something like a challenge pack, which I actually did get. Um, uh, it was called, I don't remember what it was called, but it was really cool because I got all these programs and the bands and stuff. And so I got that. And I remember telling my coach, do not talk to me about the business. I am not interested. Okay. So I wanted to show you my money. Now take note of this and I don't say this to brag and I actually don't feel that comfortable anymore. Um, talking about money. There was a period that I love to talk about money, but, um, you know, now like being, it sounds crazy, but I earn seven figures a year as a coach. You guys, I know that that for some of you, most of you, that's like, you, you can't even imagine that, right? Like for me as a professor making $56,000 was great. Like I was happy with that, even though I had trouble paying my bills and my student loans and I couldn't save anything. Um, Hey, Robert, for me, earning $56,000 as a professor was like a step up from earning $10,000 or $20,000 as a student assistant. And so I was pretty happy. So the only reason that I'm saying, I'm going to show you my money right now, you guys, Robert, you just joined us. Um, the only reason that I'm showing you this is so that you can see the potential. And today I make seven figures a year. And this is before, just some of you know that I'm married to a famous husband. Um, this is before I met Sagi. So, you know, 
I know that some people might think that the reason that I'm successful is because, you know, I'm married to Sagi, and we're both really clear on that, that I created, I want to just check on the dog, she's too quiet, um, he's too quiet, so the reason, and we're both clear on that because we want people to know that, you know, the opportunities with coaching are amazing, and I've made this, I've had this success um, prior to, you know, to meeting my famous celebrity husband. All right, guys. So let me turn around this thing and show you that I became a coach in, uh, this was when I, can I, yep. And I became a coach in, um, in September of 2007. And as you can see, I made one, two, three, four, five weeks. I made absolutely nothing. So I became a coach September 17th. In October, I made, in, November, in September, I made absolutely nothing. In October, I made absolutely nothing and I didn't care. I was just having fun. I was helping people. And in November, I made my first check that arrived in the mail for $27.46. And you guys, I had won the freaking lottery. That's exactly how it felt. Like, I'm like, oh my God, I have made this little money. And look at that, month after month after month, I became an Emerald coach, um, I think it was December 8th, right? So three months in, and then I was still making 20, 30 bucks, and I was really happy. So September, October, November, December, January, February, March, we're talking six, seven, eight months, you guys, and I'm still still making just 80 something dollars. The first time that I broke the $100 mark was um was as uh let's see 4 months, 3 months, 7 8 months in, you know? So, I'm going to show you, I'm going to scroll. Oh, this is not my online office. Hold on a second. Let me turn it around. Actually, let me see. I think I took a picture of it. Okay. Wait a second. All right. So then you look in April, things start turning around. Okay. And I remember, right? So once you break the hundred dollar mark, you can keep breaking up that hundred dollar mark or, and then it was here. It was this day. I was in New York city, June 6, 2008, and I made $256. I'm going to magnify it because that was the day that my belief changed you guys that was the day that I saw I just it, I'm gonna turn it around and you can look at the numbers I was still making like 150 and it just there was like a little jump and the jump as you can see what this is I believe that's volume right so this was my team started growing and that's how you make income it's the team I think that's what it is I need to go look but let me turn it around my point was that, was that for me, that seeing that jump from, you know, $100, for, at first $30, I was ecstatic to be making $30 a month, you know, or a week. And I was ecstatic to not make a single penny the first month. And then when I made that $256.12 on June 6, 2008, I was the happiest woman in the world and I just saw the potential. Like I just saw and I felt in the core of my being that this could be something huge. And I freaking, I, I went to meet a friend. I remember I was meeting another professor friend who happened to be in New York, Angela, and we were having lunch. And, and I just remember telling her, hey, Corey, I'm just checking on you. Want to see everything's okay? He's got a new collar for those of you just joining. So, um, and I just remember being like, oh my God, $250, which would have equaled like $1,000 a month, right? More or less. But I just saw the potential. So a lot of you guys, you know, you, your brand new baby coaches, I've invited other people to come on this call. You know, you may have made your first $10 check, $5 check. I have another friend who is in the millionaire club and he probably makes like a million dollars a year. And his first check was $4 and like 98 cents. And he was happy. So I think number one, um, and I keep saying, and I keep coming back to that, you have to have this desire to help other people, you know, and, and, and really lead from your heart and help other people 
Don't look at people as, where's, where's Corey? Don't look at people as success club points and, you know, as a means to an end. Really, really focus on helping people. And, you know, we have training, you guys, because when I started, I didn't have any training. I had no training. I had to make it all up. I didn't know that I was supposed to talk to two people a day, at least two people a day. I didn't know that I was supposed to, you know, invite them. We didn't have scripts. Like, I was just kind of swinging it all the way. And I still, with my passion and my desire to help people, I was able to attract people that wanted to help other people. And that's where the money resides, right? It's when, you know, if, what is that saying and who said it? Is it Ralph Waldo Emerson? If you help enough people get what they want, you will be able to get what you want. And that is the truth. So how do you feed your belief? For me, it, it, this, it wasn't this only moment. This wasn't the only moment that allowed me to see that um, the business had potential, but it was one of the moments. And there are many such moments in our business that you're going to have where you have these moments that you're like, holy shit, okay? Um, number one, you're part of an amazing team. We have all the tools. We have all the resources. Number two, belief for me came from personal development. It's one of the four vital behaviors and vital means that it's necessary, right? Like if you don't do a vital behavior, you know, if you don't have your vital signs, you're dead. So it's the same thing in the business. It's the four vital behaviors, working out, being a product of the product, drinking your Shakeology, right? Doing your personal development, inviting people, and then recognizing other people, you know, your customers, your coaches, you need these behaviors in order to survive and to thrive in the business. So for me, it was personal development and it was reading and reading because I had a poverty mindset, you guys. I grew up on food stamps, on public assistance. I wasn't supposed to make it. I wasn't supposed to have money. And so I had to reprogram my mind to believe that I, that I deserve to make money, that I could make money, you know? And so slowly, just by reading books like um, The Success Principles, that was huge for me. That was one of my first books that I read that changed things for me. I realized that I needed to accept 100% responsibility for my life and that I couldn't, um, that while I couldn't control some of the things that happened in my life, I could control my reaction. So that was huge. And then I remember reading a line in the book, and I should go back and read the book to find that one line where it just says, you know, some people start a network marketing business. Hey, Mary. And, you know, they'll watch their pennies turn into, turn into thousands. And I was like, oh my God, that's what's happening to me. My, per my pennies are turning into thousands. And so I, and by the way, if you guys are posting comments, I can't see them at all. Sometimes that happens with, um, with the live chat. And so I was just so flipping excited that, um, that I could turn my pennies into thousands. So it was personal development and I didn't have, um, a, a sponsor. I had a sponsor who was a very nice man who helped me with my journey, but I didn't have a sponsor or people above me. Um, I didn't know I had a bigger team. I was, a, I felt alone and I was alone and I just, I didn't have anyone telling me, Barbie, you can do it. You can do it. You know, and eventually I did. Eventually I found my own friends, you know, that, that saw the potential in me, but I had to do that on my own first in order to be recognized for it. You know what I mean? And that encouraged me. And so what I'm trying to say is that you have me, you have your coach, you have, if I'm not your coach, you have your team, you have each other. We have the results. We have the proof that this works. So you need to believe in yourself. And if you don't believe in yourself, start reading more, start listening more to things that tell you that you can do everything, that all things are possible. And you just have to apply yourself because we have the tools. You have to care about people and you have to do it because you want to help other people and you have to do the action, right? You got to back up your desire. We talked about vision yesterday, your desire for a better life with action. And the action is these daily activities. I'm going to sound like a parrot, but I don't care. The daily activities are talking to new people every day, connecting with people every day, inviting people to an opportunity, to the coaching opportunity, to, um, to a challenge group, to an eating group. My poor dog is going crazy with his little collar. Come here, Corey. I'll take it off. That's enough for now. Um, inviting people to an opportunity. And then finally, we're going we're gonna to take off your collar as soon as we show people what a tough guy you are with your little... He's got a little... Um, 
a little collar, like a camouflage collar, and he does not like it. So anyway, so that, these are the key ingredients for belief, you guys. So that's all. I'm going to leave you with that. And I don't know. Let me see if I can log in real quick. Um, you know, you saw that it went from zero dollars, you know, to not zero dollars. Hold on a second. You know, and then it just started jumping. I already closed the window, so that's okay. All right. So it went from zero dollars to thirty dollars to fifty dollars to a hundred dollars to two hundred dollars. And I kept setting goals. I'm like, okay, my next goal is going to be three hundred dollar week, and then a four hundred dollar week, and then a five hundred dollar week, and then a six thousand. I mean, a hundred. I mean, a thousand dollar week, and eventually, the maximum that you can make in that center with Team Cycle bonus is fourteen thousand dollars a week, you guys, and that is possible. And I made it happen and I could not have seen it in the beginning. I could not have dreamt it. I could not have imagined it. But now that it's happened, I am telling you that it can happen. So thank you for joining me. Do what you need to do to feed your belief, you guys. I believe in you. Your coach believes in you and we can make this happen. All right. Bye guys. Love you. Continue with the training. Power through.